everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Chromo Squad. On the last video, you squad defeated the Transit Mancer and secured uh, the finale of our first season, which is pretty exciting and awesome. Basically got us bank. <laughs> like, we are rich as all get out, which is really, really exciting because, um, Obviously, we've unlocked uh, a new thing to, to utilize in, in the upgrades bar or shopping center. I don't know. Or, or in the base management portion of the game, which we are in right now, of course, there is a new tab for the mech going ahead and upgrading him. Right now, I'm not sure if he needs any upgrades since we absolutely obliterated the boss the last time we fought with him. But like I mentioned in the last video, I'm pretty sure it was so easy entirely because that was like a tutorializing segment for that uh, portion of the gameplay and stuff like that. But we do have a letter, so let's get started with that. It's a fan message! I was a little bit worried it was gonna be Miha, um, telling us about how he's going to sue us up the bum and give us a bad old time. It's from Keith, yada yada yada. What's up, ye squad? If I were to join your team, could I pick my own color for great justice, Keith? A-N-Y color. Any color. This is the great and all-powerful uh, Alpha 69. Coolio. Hopefully that'll give us an extra fan point? It totally did not. I mean, that seems like a slightly pointless letter, but that's okay. Sometimes, uh, sometimes that happens. So let's go ahead and go to marketing. Wait, no, I don't want to go to marketing. Do I want to go? Oh, I totally want to go to marketing. We've got another 156 fan power points. Okay. So let's do a uh, plus 10% income conversion rate. It's funny, in the last video, I actually kind of wish that I turned off um, the random event and turned on this one. Because with the amount of cash we got at the end of the episode, what was it? Like 5,000 viewers or something like that? Um, if I did the plus 10 income conversion rate, then we would have gotten, like, super bank after that. But, it's okay, you know, we got that upgrade now, we'll, we'll make, um, we'll, we'll be sure to make more money as time goes on. Especially, actually, it's, for eps it's episode one of the second season, so we should have a very large, um, viewing audience, I would suppose. Oh, we got wood crates now. That's new. Uh, mech gets plus 10 HP. Yeah, this is totally new, right? Purchase minus 400, minus 15 per episode. That doesn't matter at all. Uh, oh, a shop. Oh, that's active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already got that. Let's get the bigger studio. We'll start off with that so we won't have to um, worry about buying that later. Aw, uh, yeah. Can we afford this? We totally can. I bet we can. And if, even if we can, it's worth it because we got this pretty little mech guy over here. I, I really like him a lot. So then, um, let's go ahead and look over all this stuff. Now we got healthcare bronze? I think that, yeah, that's the original one that was there. I'm getting closer to wanting to buy that, but if I could get armor instead, I think I would prefer armor for, I mean, uh, different equipments to boost their defenses. I, I think I would prefer that. Um, Especially since we're in the second season, I imagine the armor should be stronger than it was in the previous one. Or the armor that we could buy, I should say. Uh, vacuum cleaner increases drop rate by 10. Holy cow. It's 400, but I think that's gonna be worth it. So I'm gonna get that. Probably should have looked at the others first, but that's okay. Plus 10% gl global audience. I really want to get that then. Um, 5% chance of enemy dodge encounter. That's really cool. And it's super cheap. That's, oh, minus 5%. So it's affecting the enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it doesn't decrease our dodge and counter chance. It decreases the enemy's dodge and counter chance. That's still really, really good. Uh, we already saw the one crate and that's it. Huh. Honestly, I don't think these upgrades are nearly as uh, plentiful and good as I originally thought they were, but that's perfectly fine. I thought they were. I thought there would be more greater ones. Let's get this one though. I think plus ten global audience gain should greatly uh, overpay the minus thirty-five that we're going to lose from that. And then, uh, how much is everything? That's another minus four hundred. I don't think the mech needs HP though. 
So let's get the lamps because they're super cheap. And then let's also get the health care because the health care is reasonably cheap. Then we will um, buy ourselves the wooden crates if there is nothing else that we want to purchase. So let's do the mech. Oh my god, he looks so amazing. This is so cool. What? That gives him an ability? All of these things give him abilities? Oh my- Oh, I see. There- I thought that this- I thought that that was like the chest piece and then this is the head. Like maybe that's the arm or something because I didn't really look at them very closely. But no, these are all actually different body pieces. So we have to decide what we want to go with. Uh, silver duct tape. I think we should be able to get some of that pretty easily. Or is it regular duct tape that drops a lot? I'm not sure. Mm. We already have this equipped. If we upgrade it, then it could get the super shield. Unless it already has the super shield? I thought we had a shield ability. Huh. Oh, shoot! But it, Oh, no, we just click each piece! Okay, so each piece does give us a special ability. That is amazing! Oh, my lord. Okay, so we're not gonna bother with the, this arm. Uh, because I'd- I mean, we might come to this eventually, but for the time being, we're definitely not going to, because I would much rather, uh, keep the upgrade we have, rather than spending resources on getting a different upgrade, whereas I could actually use resources to get ourselves an additional upgrade instead, so... That helmet is pretty baller looking. Oh my god, but that one's cool too, looks like he's Alpha 69, and I kinda like that. Um, plus 10% mech hit chance. Huh. I thought that would be like crit mech crit chance, not just hit chance. That's interesting. Well then, so apparently our mech actually does not- So that's equipped, but we can upgrade it to get ourselves the super shield. Which is an upgrade that we totally did have before. So I guess that just means like, um... Yeah, because I have to craft this. I guess they just temporarily gave us that upgrade or something like that. Chromo Beam deal an absurdly large amount of damage. Yeah, an absurdly large amount of damage. Uh, plus two cooldown to all skills. Okay, so if we use that, um, we can't use any other skills. So we gotta make that like a final ability. Always hits, ends turn, and it's also a final strike. So we'll probably actually work towards that. I like the idea of that, unless this is really good. Oh, shoot! It's a reload ability? Is this also a final strike? Yes, it is. So we might keep that for final strike, then. All skill cooldowns are reduced by one for each combo count. Recover, blah, blah, blah. You know what? Well, let's come back to the mech later. I don't want to deal with that guy, uh, that thing, until I actually have the resources to craft things. So, in crafting now, we apparently have a lot more different things to look at. This is skill regen gloves. And this is attack gloves, so we have, uh, 5% counter gloves. Yeah, I don't want those. We could get rid of those. Well, what are these outfits? Uh, plastic helmets is an upgrade from a bucket. That's 12% health. That is 15 plus 5 attack. That is so good. We also got upgraded weapons, too. Man, there's gonna be a ton for us to do in the near future. Look at this tube rifle! That's really cool looking. I like that a lot. Okay, so... Uh, we should work with our mater materials first. You're kidding me, I can't craft anything? I could craft- I could craft silver duct tape, okay, that's good. Um, I think we're probably at a point where we're not going to- No, we could get these with regular duct tape. Hmm. Can we buy- Oh, shoot, we could buy better packs. Oh, we could also just buy regular resources now. Wait, can we? No, these are packs. These are still packs, okay. Oh, man. Uh, cardboard box, glitter, plastic, leather, silver tape. So th this is for the mech, and it's $2,000! That's insane. Okay. I think what we're gonna do is let's go into crafting one more time. Let's make ourselves one silver duct tape. And then is there anything else here that we can even make? Oh my god. Okay, so these are the super things. Oh no! These are all mech parts! Okay, the blue ones are mech parts. I, I'm i pretty sure, because I know this is a mech part. Uh, yeah, make giant robots. Great ma super material, gripper adding detail, and glamour. I don't know if this is for the mech. 
Um, I'm pretty sure this is for the mech. Need a fancy suit or a balloon? Maybe this wasn't. Maybe this is the only one for the mech. But I, I think these are, like, the best abilities, while these ones are, like, normal, uh, armors, and these are, like, the basic, really horrible armors. <laughs> to be completely honest. So, um... I think that's gonna be good for that then. Why don't we make one more silver duct tape and then we'll go into crafting because I think we can make one of these now. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh no. There is something we can make. Must be a mech upgrade or a weapon. Let's check the weapon one more time. Uh, weapons, yada, yada, yada. We don't want that. We don't want either of those. We already have both of those upgrades. Is this like a super homemade sword? That one looks so cool. I really like this disjointed axe though, and then the blooming spear is cool, and the sharp clay dagger is pretty cool as well. Uh, but I really want this composite bow or either the tube rifle. Those ones are like the coolest. But can we make any of these? Not at all. That is very unfortunate. Let's go back to the mech then. I'm I'm sure we are. Yeah. Okay. So we can make the basic body. Wait a minute. No, I want this one, the cooldown one. Yeah, because this one just gives us 70% defense. I, I, I like the idea that some of them give us, like, huge uh, passive bonuses and no active effect. But come on, guys. We, we, we need one that has an active effect. We're not, we're gonna get an active effect for all, all of these slots. Like, there's no way we're not. Uh, do, do, ooh, that seems good. Remove all negative effects and recover 4,000 HP for each combo counter. Uh, oh, for each, that is really good. It does end our turn though, and its cooldown is four. But still, I might want to get those. Oh, that's these legs right here. Those are just, wait, 100% repair mech after enemy knockdown. Interesting. I'm only gonna focus on the ones that give us abilities. I, I like the abilities. The abilities are what makes it fun to me. Remove all negative effects and become immune to them for one turn. For each combo counter, recover uh, additional HP for each combo count and turn. So this one's definitely better than this one, but it's also a little bit uh, harder to manage properly. Hmm. 27% mech health. Oh God. Yeah, this one is a thousand percent better. We just need uh, wood board, which is really hard to get. Okay, well, folks, I think that's enough for base management. So we're not, oh my God, the clones are back again. Um, Well, actually not quite. Let's go to the studio. We bought healthcare. Let's buy some wooden crates. Yeah, that boosts the mech health, mech's health. So that's a nice, quick and easy way to upgrade that. Uh, and then, wait, what's that? We can upgrade? Oh, shoot! I did not notice that was a thing! Okay! Let's look at these abilities that we can upgrade. We can upgrade the lamps. Oh my god, if we could upgrade that like five times, that could actually be super impactful, but I don't want to upgrade that yet. Uh, we're definitely not gonna touch wooden crate upgrade. Oh, 10% audience gain from combat and skills. Uh, upgrade plus 20% audience gain from combat and skills. That's, a, that's a 100% gain. That's crazy. Oh, shoot, and then I could just decrease- Oh my god, that is so expensive then. I wish I noticed these upgrades earlier! Because these are really good. Uh, all actors get plus 10 HP, healthcare, all actors get 20, okay. Uh, plus 20% audience gain from director's instructions, okay. I think, uh, what, what's better? The SD card or the other one that increases audience percentage? Because those are the ones that I would want to get. Um, from combat and skills. So far, I have completed every single director instruction, though. So let's let's get that one. We'll continue working on that one. I think that might be the permanent upgrade for that, seeing as there isn't another upgrade. But we might also get more in the future. But I want I, I want that audience gain. The more audience gain, the more cash we're going to be getting in the long run. So I think it's definitely the smart way to handle this. So let's go ahead and get started with our first episode of the season, just in time. I really like this um, 
Space Channel 5-esque alien here. He's he's pretty great looking. He looks like a Space Channel 5 alien mixed with a Teletubby. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. A real world threat looms over something very dear to our heroes. Will they stop it in time? Is that? Wait, let, let, I want to go back for a sec. Yeah, what, what's up with the... Uh... I'm gonna imagine that our good friend Zordon, Zordon or whatever his name is, uh, in this game is might get a virus because he's looking a little bit under the weather in this photo. Max audience is huge, not quite as big as our finale if I remember correctly, but still huge. Uh, keep all of your heroes standing, defeat 10 enemies. Those two things should be quite easy, I think. So let's do this thing, friends. Back on set once more. Ay ay ay! A brand new season! We should introduce more dramatic episodes! Otherwise, the audience may get tired! Or even bored! We should make them even more realistic! Can I just say, our upgraded set looks beautiful! Like, look at this! We've got a mini city for our uh, giant mech fights to take place in. That's so cool! I really, really like that. Don't worry, friends! Our new script has got it covered! Today was supposed to be a standard day in their, he in their heroes' lives, but with great power must come great responsibility. Fun piece of trivia right here since we got that Spider-Man quote. You guys know that in uh, the, Ama the Amazing Spider-Man comics, um, the original Spider-Man stories, uh, Uncle Ben actually never said that quote. It was actually told by, a uh, Speech Bubble on the final frame of, uh, the first issue. Um, well, not the, not the first issue of, um, Amazing Fantasy 15. Which, technically, I guess is the first ever Spider-Man issue. I'm pretty sure I've heard that line in a movie. Or a comic, you big, you scum lord, Lady Docket. I'm a huge comic nerd, so that that offends me. <laughs> Let their narrator do the talking, Lady Docket. Get in position. What would heroes do without trouble lurking about? Monsters appear because of reasons. I like that. Oh my god, they broke the fabric of existence. They destroyed that mountain. It looks like they're after us. Phew, we found you. <laughs> Our whole crew will be here in no time, ye squad. You have nowhere to run. I was pretty sure I had them distracted on our way here, Betty Boo. Uh-oh. We're surrounded! That's not good. More? Today is going to be a good day, friends! Get them! Our heroes must survive the attack of these minions that came out of nowhere. Wait a second. Where are the real-time chroma key special effects? Uh-oh. I'm planning to add some cool computer effects to this scene later on. For now, use your imagination. All right. Does that mean we won't be able to buttitize? We better be able to buttitize. Keep all of your heroes standing, defeat 10 enemies. Okay, so that, I, I'm thinking that should be pretty easy. Although, a lot of guys did just come into the fray, which frightens me a little bit, but that, that should be okay. So then, let's try to avoid Turtle Man, since I believe he does... No, the, the squ... Oh, really? Actually, Turtle Man does do the most damage. I thought the weak bread crumblers, or bread, weak bread crumbler, yeah. I thought that they did the most damage, but apparently that's not the case. So I think I'd like to move the squad down here, defeat those guys quick, or, or move this way and try to just kill all these guys right off the bat. That might be even better. So let's move our scouts over there. Probably won't be able to get most of everyone else over to that position, but I think that's actually going to be perfectly fine. Between Alpha 69 and Lady Docket, we should be able to easily take down uh, this little squirrel beast. So let's go ahead and do that. Lady Docket, teamwork time in the fashizzle nizzle and beat him up. Not fair, he said. We didn't get a single item from that. That sucks. 
We did get plus 20 for that team attack, though, so that's pretty awesome. And then we can, uh, beat him up. I think I just realized... Ooh, this is still a very good upgrade to get. But I think I just realized that the T that the audience percentage gain can never get max over 4,000. I think that's just... I think those upgrades are making it easier to fill up to 4,000. That sucks! <laughs> I thought it was the other way! I thought it was like... I thought that upgrade meant that we'll get more audience members max, not it makes it easier to get to the max per level. That makes a lot of sense. The, the, I'm still really happy I got those upgrades, but they're a little bit worse in my mind now than I would probably say. Uh, Budditizing does not refresh our turn. So, um, is it worth it to Budditize? Uh, probably not. 52 to 65, this guy's got 90 health. It is totally worth it to Budditize because they don't do nearly as much damage. Actually, do they do 56 to 65? What does Bushy Beaver do? Oh, no, they, they, I think they do indeed do their regular amounts, maybe? No, they're probably slightly weaker. Ah, uh, whatever, it, it doesn't matter. Let, let, let's just move Bushy Beaver up there. And then we'll also send uh, Betty Boo over, and together they should easily be able to crush their enemies, see them driven before them, and hear the lamentations of the women. Yeah, attack Alpha 69 all you want, guys, because it's pretty much uh, tank prime, so, you know, you, you could do what you want, but it'll be to no avail. Survive for eight turns. Oh, so it's a number of turns that we have to survive. That's pretty interesting. Time to buttatize! Lights, camera, buttatize! Oh, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have done that because that actually did. <gasps> oh! Everyone leveled up! I totally forgot! We gotta do that in the next level. Oh, my. I mean, in the next video, I gotta double check the two. Uh, the, the, the alternate level up ability. That is so amazing! Oh, I'm hyped. Uh, square house kick deal 120% damage to all adjacent enemies! That's insane! I wish I could get him right over there. Probably could with teamwork, or maybe if I moved someone. Um, wow. She. Oh yeah, because she has the gun, she has one ability. So now she's got the circle of friendship. Heal all allies up to four tiles away for, um, up to four tiles away. That range is massive. Uh, for 30% health. That is incredible. Then, um... Oh, well, let's check Fuzzy Wuzzy next. Fuzzy Wuzzy didn't level up! Oh no! What's up with you, buddy? You're the techie! I thought you were gonna get some cool, awesome ability. Alpha 69 didn't level up either? Oh, for shame. What's up with that? Lady Docket didn't even level up. What a big old disappointment. Okay, well, whatever. Let, let, let's, um move her down here then she'll just go ahead and do a stunning pose that way these uh, final two guys can be eliminated very very quickly and easily uh, which will allow the rest of the squad to be able to focus on these jabronis which I think will be perfectly fine this is the yeah that's a percentage damage so I'm pretty sure this weapon is actually better ah! 120% damage, so that's 20% of his attack. Uh, added on to his bare bones attack. Hmm. I I think they're probably about even. Yeah, well, duh. The, the max damage is 100, so 20% of that is 20. So max damage uh, the roundhouse kick can do is 120 right now, if I am correct about that. Um... So, yeah, the sword is stronger right now, but later the roundhouse or square house kick uh, will, should be much stronger, I imagine. So then, um, hmm. There's those two guys there. I think wait, Alpha, Alpha 69 could get to that dude. Yes, he totally can. You know, uh, yeah, let, let's, let's have Alpha 69 take out this guy. Don't really want to mess with him in my life. He dodged it! What a scum butt. I hate that guy. Okay, well, I was originally gonna take down the turtle on this turn. Maybe that isn't the best idea. We'll shoot this guy, though. Yeah, he's still alive. Uh, can't quite hit him, so let's move right over there. And then we'll just finish him off. Yeah. 
I, I don't think there's a reason to kill the turtle. Let's get a little bit of distance and get this nutcracker out of the way. Man, I really want to see some, like, du duct tape dropping for all these item drops. It's, it's making me a little bit sad that we're, um, not getting any of the really, really good drops because I need that stuff. I need it! I need it to be strong and powerful! So he's taking that damage. Uh, actually, we could almost certainly kill the turtle with the roundhouse kick, but I also might want to save it to take down two enemies at once. Hmm. Uh, the turtle's gonna go down no matter what on this turn, actually. So, yeah, let, 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 let's just get him right there. Let's put Betty Boo right there. And then we'll move Alpha 60, 69. That way we could do a triple team attack that'll finish him off without a doubt. And get a little bit of healing action out on uh, the rest of the guys, which will be amazing for us. So you go right there. Good old Fuzzy Wuzzy. And then the rest of the team will be able to handle this perfectly easily, I imagine. Trip He's still alive! He survived a triple attack! That is the biggest BS that the world has ever seen. <laughs> that makes me so mad. Okay, well, that's a lot of damage done to Fuzzy Wuzzy, but... He'll live. He, he's, a, he's a survivor! He's gonna make it! So then we can... Fuzzy Wuzzy, please kill the turtle with this. That would make me so happy. Multi-shot! I hate you so much. Multi-shot is kind of a garbage ability, in my opinion, actually. I might want to swap that out for whatever the other ability was, because it just does not do enough damage to be worth it. I mean, that's a lot of damage covering uh, four guys. Like, if you actually look at it, that's that's a lot of damage dealt out. It's, it's just I'd rather have something that would finish off one guy than keep four guys alive, but weakened. Um, th that's how I would rather handle things. Oh, and I also split them up, so I couldn't do the roundhouse house kiss kick. The round I couldn't do the roundhouse house kiss, even if I wanted to. So, hmm, I'm gonna take a little bit of a risk. Move Alpha 69 over here, so I can be sure to finish off this guy. How much damage does he do, base bones? Okay, yeah, he needs the sword. 106, he's down, that is awesome. Uh, how much health does this turtle have left? 29, you better be able to do 29. Yeah, okay, so he's dead. He's not dead! His defense is too freaking high! I hate that turtle. Now everyone's too far away, the turtle lived another turn! I am awful at video games. The, the purest of all scum at video games, that is me. Okay, well, let's kill this guy. He's actually weakened, so I totally did not need to attack him with two people. I'm messing up all over the place. Yeah, totally didn't didn't need to attack him with two. Well then, um, let's just move him right there. Man, I actually think I did some pretty good plays at the start of this, but basically everything fell apart. I just went from being smart and uh, diligence with my abilities to being the world's worst player of video games ever. <laughs> I, my, my uh, fall from, from video game fame has been quite, quite substantial. So, Alpha 69 will definitely kill him. Thank you, okay. Uh, I don't know what that- Oh, oh, okay, we got that because we just completed the director's instructions, okay. So, uh, let's go ahead and have Betty Boo start healing up the whole squad. It's 30% health, so it actually might be smarter just to use a heal a in this turn and use that on, uh, Fuzzy Wuzzy. Because that'll- that'll give him the max boost health that he needs, and then it will also get that on cooldown so we can utilize it, um... Uh, again before too long, so that'll be awesome. Keep all of our people alive. We just need to keep our dudes alive for three more turns. I think that should be pretty, uh, I think that should be relatively easy to accomplish. Nice. That's two more guys down super easily, so that's awesome. I would love to finish off this dude. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to. Ah, I could totally do it. Yeah, because, oh no, there's another pigeon down there? I didn't see that. I thought he was the last pigeon dude. That sucks. Fuzzy Wuzzy, don't you dare fail me now. 
Yeah, okay. So all the people who are a bit wounded are dead, which is nice. Kill him! Kill him! Shooter! Shooter! Was that actually from? What is that? Like, is... I want to say Jurassic Park, but I'm pretty sure that is not Jurassic Park. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, do, 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 do. We haven't used our lasso yet. Would really love to use it. Not sure if there's really a good circumstance for it yet, though. I mean, if I want to group everyone up over here so I could use Betty Boo's healing ability. Like, let's see. What if I move Betty Boo right there? Can she just heal everyone now? Oh, she totally can! Okay, everyone's wounded, so why not? Circle of friendship! Circle of friendship. Turn, turn, turn. Uh, show us the friendship that we have earned. We got a plus 40 audience on heal, too. That's pretty cool. Cool. Okay, so there are only, uh, there's only one more. Oh, and we've got the sword back! Okay, cool, cool, cool. I would prefer to kill that Nutcracker since he's almost dead, but I want to get the shooters out. I really want to get them out of the situation. Then we have another sword ability. That means I think we should definitely finish off this man with Fuzzy Wuzzy. Don't fail me now. Good work. We are getting like no item drops on this uh, mission and it's making me really sad. I want all the item drops, not zero of the item drops. Alpha 69 should not- yeah, I thought so. Arrgh! I, I thought he wouldn't be able to finish that off on his own, but I was, I was hoping a bit. Just took a wee little bit of damage, so really, Alpha 69 is pretty much the world's ultimate survivor. There's another turtle! Oh no! We only need to survive one more turn though, so what I think we should do is I think we should move everyone down south. Uh, at which point, they'll, we'll be able to beat up all the guys around here, and then, like, let's, let's get Fuzzy Wuzzy to finish this dude off. And then, presumably, all of these enemies won't be able to attack us. The, uh, Bread Crumbler probably will be able to shoot us, because he's got a gun, but I'm pretty sure the Nutcracker and the Shell Shield will not be able to harm us if we're way, way down here. Betty Boo has a gun. She could shoot. Which is awesome. Uh, Fuzzy Wuzzy is stuck in that position, but that's okay. No one has any special abilities to use? Yeah, I thought they don't. Okay, that's a little bit unfortunate, but that'll be perfectly fine. Can Alpha 69 kill them? 82 max! Oh, his damage is too high. His damage output is too strong for us. But if we do a teamwork, it'll work out perfectly fine. So you two beat him up with a double attack. That's a plus 50 for audience. Our audience percentage is getting super high and we haven't even completed the uh, secondary objective for our man, which is pretty cool for our director, I mean. And then we're gonna be able to take down the second shooter as long as we don't have any misses because Betty Boo will just pop a shot in his big old squirrel, I mean, uh, pigeon beak. Okay, good. Yeah, I thought that guy would shoot him. That's okay. I think now that we've survived this turn, yeah, it just ends. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my god, they all just disappeared. What was that about? Why did they attack us? Well, we did destroy that traffic light guy a few days ago. Beep, beep. A message from Cerebro is in danger. To Cerebro's chamber now! Alrighty, let's see what's afoot with all this. Whoa, these cubes weren't there before, I don't think. Meanwhile, in Cerebro's chamber... Oh no! You will never have your way, villains! I've warned you, squad, about your presence. You got this, Cerebro! Oh, we're over here! Okay, that's awesome. Ye squad, you arrived just in time. Yeah, yeah, we always arrive on time. Whoa, what is going on in here? They tracked our Ducker 6900, and we're about to find and and uh, we're about to find our hideout. Well, actually, they've already found our hideout. They want to destroy everything. Oh no! Ay ay ay! Get ready, everyone! 
Okay, a lot of dudes right off the bat. We're surrounded. Let's see if you're going to survive through this. <laughs> Whoops. Your souls burn bright, ye squad. Are heroes ready for such... Uh, are our heroes ready for such problem to face? For such problems to face, it should have been, I think. Haha! -ha, our narrator talks so funny! Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Defeat four enemies in the same turn. Win in four, five turns. Okay. Well, the, basically, to get that second objective, we need to do the first objective, too, then. So, this is gonna be a little bit wild. Hmm. Sorry about that, guys. Throat's getting a little bit sore, so I needed some agua in my system. So then, looks like the easiest place to defeat four guys would be right down there. The sucky thing is, our character with the roundhouse kick is not near there. Um, although we could do a teamwork and toss him. The sucky thing is, these cubes are kind of an annoying obstacle. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Let's um, take down the dudes up top. That way we'll finish them off quick and easily. And then we will go ahead and have all of our abilities saved up for when all the enemies come to us. And then hopefully we'll be able to take down uh, four guys in one turn. Easy peasy lemon squeezy style. So we'll just do two team, uh, two team attacks this turn and handle things pretty quick and easy. Finish him off. Oh no, please. He was so sad. Man, I, I still feel like we're getting, like, no drops in this mission. I don't know what's going on. I need dim drops to be happy with my life. Also, one thing I will say, though, that I've kind of come to realize, I think that teamwork is uh, a little bit unnecessary in this... I mean, I mean not teamwork. I, I think the, the nice thing about the upgrades that I've been getting is, I think the director's instructions are entirely optional, if you have maxed out your audience bar, because I think if that gets maxed out, I, I I don't think your audience bar can ever decrease, but I might be wrong. Um, so if that gets maxed out, I think that it's not as important to complete the director's instructions, but I, I would still prefer to complete as many of those as we can. So then, uh, let's see. If I do the roundhouse kick there, I kill those two. And she could still get over there and start beating up those guys. Yeah, I, th I think that's the best way to handle this. Please kill both of these guys. It should, I think. Yes! Two down! So this, yeah, yeah. This is super easy. We, we, there's no way we did not accomplish this ability, I'm pretty sure. Let's get the one who's farther away just to be safe. Um, that's three in one turn, so we only need to take down one more. And we've, uh... Still got, um, one more sword to use, so I, I I think we did it. We did it! That was four enemies in the same turn. Maybe it doesn't verify it until afterwards. Uh, so then, let's knock them all back just to give us a little bit more space once again. Didn't really knock any of them back as far as I had hoped it would, but hopefully we'll finish that guy off then. Yes! Five enemies in one turn! I did you one better game! Showed you who is boss in this whole situation. Oh, nice! Counter as well. Even better. Okay, then. Um, Lady Docket is not going to be able to kill him by herself. Uh, Fuzzy Wuzzy probably can, though. Oh, Fuzzy Wuzzy. To oh, he's even got his sword still. I forgot. Okay, let's just uh, guarantee a kill on this guy. Yeah, we are easily gonna beat these guys in five turns. These guys turned out to be, like, pretty much the world's greatest wusses. So let's move Alpha 69 right there. We won't attack the Bread Crumbler on this turn. This turn we're gonna do team up. Uh, I mean teamwork to finish off the turtle. Basically in one go, which is... Which, which leaves one enemy. So that's a little bit absurdly, like, strong what we did just right here. But, but I like it. I like it a lot. <gasps> oh, we also got a super rare. We, we got paint. That, that was a really, really rare drop. So that's exciting. I, I think that was a drop for the mech. I probably should have shouldn't have ran this far forward. Yeah, I really probably shouldn't have. But you know what? Let's just move Betty Boo 
Oh, Betty Boo's got a gun, actually. Let, let's see if we can kill this guy right off the bat. There's that, and then Betty Boo. Do your worst, friend. Oh. Yes! Oh, I was so afraid she was gonna miss. Awesome. That was super easy. Good job, everyone. We got some great footage there. I agree. I think that went down super... Pretty much as cool as it could have. Now where? And uh, now here's the deal. TV Tubi will join the scene. TV Tubi. Th that's obviously Teletubby then. Uh, and we should blast it off with a finishing move. Escalating the fights. The fights is against the hero code, Bushy Beaver. Our fans won't be happy. We have a lot of footage already. We'll edit the boss at the very end. Then let's get uh, get going. To the scene, TV Tubi. What's a good voice for TV Tubi? I I don't know. Oh, I'll do like a silly clown voice, so like that. Uh, no, 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 not like that. Come on, you're in our secret hideout. No one gets in jumping like that. I liked it. He just jumped in. He's like, uh, hey guys, I'm coming to join the party. <laughs> Sorry, I'll try it in a different way. Hi duck duck duck. Okay. <laughs> bye bye, TV Tubi. All right, get on stage again, TV Tubi. Oh, that was badass though. Yeah, that's the way we like it. I'll destroy you all, and then Cerebro right after, and then again and again. <laughs> Minions, minions. Alrighty-o. Well, four bread crum crumblers, that's a little bit annoying, but should be perfectly fine. I think all of our cooldowns reset as well, so if we do teamwork... Oh, even better. Okay, I'm gonna go down here, stun them all, and I'm not going to attack any of them. Uh, instead, I'm going to move up here to get ready to attack those dudes. Then in the meantime, I'm going to move Bushy Beaver right there. And next turn, they're all gonna die. So that'll be pretty freaking awesome, in my opinion. Uh, so let's see how this works. If I move Alpha 69 right here, Lasso, this guy, should be able to easily kill him with my sword. Uh, so let's go ahead and handle that. And then, presumably, these two should be able to kill him with their guns? They better be able to. Oh, I forgot to read the thing. Uh, defeat boss monster with a finishing move. Defeat the boss before getting... Defeating all minions! Oh, come on, game! Oh, I just set it up so I get to kill all of these guys, like, at once. And you're telling me that I can't do that. Well, fine. I, I want to do my best to complete the, um... To actually do all, the, all of the director goals, even if I don't have to. Um, and in this circumstance, I totally don't have to, but I kind of prefer trying to do all of them, so let's go up here. At least in this situation, I can still do the square house kick, so let's do that. Might as well take another enemy out along the way while I beat him up. So tell it to me, he's taking more of a beating, and now we are ready to finish it. So that's pretty cool. Might as well just keep on punching him a bit, though, I suppose. Uh, is there a way to, like close him in. Oh, I think if we step there, he actually literally is stuck. So that's good. Don't counter. Yeah! Teletubi is basically the worst. Like, this guy kind of sucks. We have destroyed him. Ah, that, that was kind of a cool ability. Only question is... Oh, no, we totally can. I was about to say, do we have enough space for everyone to uh, do team attacks on him at once so we can finish it? But no, e everyone's in a proper position, so that's good. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's finish this thing. Power of the Almighty Butt! Oh, yeah! Man, we really need to get Betty Boo a helmet. Because she, she needs some extra defense for, for show. Oh, goodbye, TV Toppy or whatever your name is. You aren't heroes by chance, ye squad. Congratulations on a job well done. Oh, I thank you. Without you, I would have been turned off for good. 
Or even worse, they could have managed to reprogram me to side with evil! They'll never do that! We have a world to save and we need you by our side! But Cerebro, how did they track our Docker 6900? Probably by the nature of our Docker 6900's 6 components! Then I believe there's still a chance for them to break in once again. We must remain vigilant! And you, Squad, one more thing. One more thing! Jackie! Yes, Cerebro? Could you clean up this mess? Since I can't really do anything about it. Oh, Cerebro! Ha 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 ha! That that's that's when the whole cast laughs and then does a does a like pose at the end that that the screen like freezes on. Shoot. Okay, we did get a huge bonus. So maybe I'm right. May maybe my original idea about how the audience bonuses work is actually 100% right, which would be amazing. That would be so good. How much did we get? We just got over a thousand bucks on our first episode. Almost two thousand. That's so good! And we got uh, a lot more fans as well. This was perfect! Hashtag e -squad. At least uh, the episode had some incredible stunt actions. At least? This guy sounds like I didn't like it that much. Uh, hang on tight, my favorite heroes. You are the best show. Dr. Me uh, sucks. <laughs> I like that. My girlfriend was skeptical uh, about watching the show, but now she's a fan. Aw, oh, yeah. Our fans are converting others. The glory and daughter of our co fan conversion. Soon they will all be mine. <laughs> so let's check out our studio. Studio options, and we gotta change this to uh, uh, the Doctor 69,000. That, that's what I meant it to be originally. So basically the docker just got a big ol' upgrade, you know. Can we even add a, a thingamadoohickey? No, we- Yes, we can! That's nice. Looks like a period. But it totally isn't, so that's- that's okay. Got the 16 in the doctor 69,000. It's gonna be the world's greatest thing ever. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and or subscribing if you have not. I am the Egg Scrambled Gamer, and I will see you all in the next one. See you guys!